Let's get back to Suleika and the students to learn more about mangrove forests. Please tell us about the special features of mangrove forests. Thank you, Adriana. Mangroves are special trees that are found only in estuaries and coastal areas in tropical and subtropical regions. They provide habitat to a large variety of fish and wildlife. Mangroves are the only trees capable of thriving in salt water. They have special adaptations that allow them to live in places like here in Panama Bay. We have been taking a look at these features. And Isabel, please tell us what we have found. Yes, we learned to identify the black and white mangrove trees, looking at the bark and leaves. For example, here is a white mangrove tree, and we can tell by the whitish color of the bark. In Panama Bay, there are also other types of mangrove trees, such as the red and the piñuelo. Also, we had a close look at the adaptations these trees have to be able to survive in flooding, low oxygen, and salty conditions. Adaptations vary among the mangrove tree species. Thank you, Ana Isabel. Now, let's go to uh, Astrid and Charlie. They are going to tell us how they did to, uh, how the mangroves do to deal with salt and the flooding. Tell us, Astrid. To cope with salt, for example, the white mangrove has to do glands on the base of their oh, leaves yes. to secret salt out of the plant. The black mangroves remove salt through pores all over the surface of the leaf. Here we can see how the leaves are covered with salt crystals. Oh, how many salt Look at that, there. look at that. A lot of salt on the, on the surface of the leaf. Yes, and how are they able to survive with low or no oxygen in the soils? They have above ground roots so they can take oxygen yeah. from the atmosphere. We look at the, at the ones called nymphatures that are fingers like structures that function as a snorkel for these trees. Red mangroves have lengthy cell spores on the, dark, on the bark that allow the tree to breathe. Isn't that great how nature is very wise to allow these trees to grow there? Very cool. Very, very cool. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Astrid. Well, we have seen how mangroves are important to fish, wildlife, and humans. Mangroves protect coastal communities from floods and storm surges. They prevent erosion and provide important habitat. However, these coastal habitats has historically been developed extensively for humans for different types of farming, commercial and agricultural uses, and human settlement. The clearing of mangroves is a major factor behind mangrove laws around the world. It is important to protect mangroves to maintain these areas incredible biodiversity, as well as to, as to protect coastal inhabitants from damage from storms. Without mangroves, many species of fish and wildlife would not be able to survive. <laughs> 